You want to install the Remote Server Administration tools on Windows 10 2004? I'm Mike Roderick, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. So there's really two ways I can install Remote Server Admin tools, or RSAT for short, on my Windows 10 2004 machine. I can go through my settings and applications, or we can use PowerShell. Let's start with the settings. That's a pretty easy one. I'm going to go to my Start menu and click on my good old Settings icon down there. And once I get into my settings, I'm going to choose Apps. This is where I get a list of all the applications that are already installed. I can choose to remove them. One of the abilities in here is you'll see optional features right below where it says apps and features. I know my, my dark mode is probably not the best for this one. We can see optional features there. We're going to click on that because that's really what we want. RSAT is considered an optional feature. And in Windows 10 2004, I don't have to download anything. The files are already there. We simply need to tell it to go and install them. So once I get in here, I'm going to see a list of already installed features. And then right above that, there's the ability to add a feature. We're going to go ahead and select that. So click Add a Feature. And then in your search dialog, simply type in RSAT. And you'll see a list of all of the different remote server administration tools that you can choose to install. Let's pick one or two, and we'll go ahead and install them. All right. How about we do Active Directory Domain Services, uh, and maybe Active Directory Certificate Service. We'll just grab those first two there, and then go ahead and click Install down at the bottom. All right? And then you can watch the progress here as it begins to install those. It's not going to take it very long, and that was it. You've now added the ability to remotely manage, in my case, Active Directory Domain Services and Active Directory Certificate Services. We'll fire them up here in just a minute as soon as they get done installing. Like I said, uh, they shouldn't take too long. So one of the cool things, you know, I know this has changed over the last few versions of Windows, is that I no longer have to install the entire set of remote server admin tools. Remember back in the day, you had to go and download RSAT, uh, you had to find it, download the right version for your operating system, extract them out and install them. Now I can simply go through here and we can choose the one we want and install. And there we go, they've finished installing. Let's go check them out. I'm gonna close my settings, go to my Start menu, and you'll find these underneath my Windows Administrative Tools. So I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna find Windows Administrative Tools. Expand that out, and right there you will see the Active Directory Users and Computers. You'll also see it install the Active Directory Sites and Services and Active Directory Module uh, for Windows PowerShell. So not only did I get the snap in for Active Directory Users and Computers, but I also got the PowerShell module. So now I can create users or manage Active Directory uh, using PowerShell. It's as easy as that. All right. All right. I am going to zoom back out. And now I want to show you how to install this through PowerShell. Now, so that you didn't have to watch me painfully type in all of my wonderful typos, I already typed all this out. I'm simply going to highlight the commands and execute them. I'll show you what they are, though, and explain them as we go through them. First off, the the CMD or this commandlet that we're going to use in PowerShell is git dash windows capability or um, add dash windows capability. Git will show me a list of them and then add would install them. So first I need to know which ones I want to install. And to install them, I need to know the name of that RSAT. And it's not as easy as you think. It's not conveniently named Active Directory, right? So let me show you what I mean here. This first command git dash windows capability dash online, that means the system I'm working on currently, dash name, and notice I have RSAT asterisk. So anything that starts with RSAT, which conveniently enough, all of the RSAT tools start with RSAT. So it's easy to find them. All right. So I'm going to hit my F8 key to run my selected text. Give it just a second to whir and grind here, and what you'll see is a list of all of the RSAT tools that are available for installation. And it gives you a lot of information about each one. You'll see the name, the state, currently not present for most of these, the display name, a description. And some of the descriptions can be rather long and rather detailed, which if you're unfamiliar with these tools, can be really helpful. Right? But if you're just looking for a particular tool and you know which one you want and you know what it is, you might want to run this command a little differently. Notice my second command here. I've got select, I'm piping out the results of the first command into a select display name, comma, name, and then I'm piping that into an FL or format list. All right, this will give me a more concise view of all of those possible RSAT tools. So I'm going to hit F8 again to run that. 
I'm going to let that go. Oops, and I didn't like the fact that I had that selected already. And here we can see the results. Notice it's just the display name and the name for each one of those remote server admin tools. So again, a little bit easier way to find the one you're looking for. And it's not the display name, the friendly name that you need, it's the actual name. For example, that one that says rsat.ipam.client.tools tilde 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 0 .0 0.0.1.0. That's the one you need. All right, so that's why I say it, you want to run this command first to find the one you're looking for so that you know the name so you can turn around and install it, all right? Now you can also filter this down even further. Let's say I know I want to install, we've already installed Active Directory. Let's do, I'm gonna change this up to uh, DNS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run that same command, find all of the RSAT tools that start with RSAT asterisk DNS asterisk. So something that has DNS in the name, all right? We're gonna run that command. Take a look at my results down here. We'll scroll down. And there we can see the results. Notice only one tool was returned, the one I'm looking for, the one that's named rsat.dns.tools tilde, 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 and my version number. So now that I have a command that finds the exact tool that I want to install, I can simply pipe that out into the add capability online command. I'm going to change this to DNS because I've already installed Active Directory in the previous demo. Right? Now I could simply run the add Windows capability dash online dash name rsat dot dns dot blah blah tilde tilde but I'd have to type it in exactly right right or I'd have to copy and paste it we're in PowerShell PowerShell has the ability to pipe one command into the other so why bother with all that right what we're going to do is we're going to run the command that gets the tool that we want to install and then we're going to simply pipe the results into the install command that way, I don't have to type the name at all. I just let, Windows, let PowerShell do it for me. All right, so let's select that command and go ahead and hit F8. And you'll see that it begins the operation. It starts installing that Remote Server Admin Tools DNS. All right, so let this finish up here. We'll give it just a minute. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Uh, and then the results are going to be just like when we did it through our settings. We'll be able to go to our Start menu. We'll see that console and we'll have the ability to remotely manage our DNS servers from our Windows 10 machine. And that's really what RSAT gives us, right? Those remote server admin tools give me the ability to sit at my workstation, my daily driver, and remotely manage those systems without having to do a remote desktop or anything like that. I can simply open up my Active Directory console or open up my DNS console, and I can change the focus of those snap-ins to manage those different servers, all right? So there, it looks like it finished. I can see no restart is needed, online is true. One more PowerShell command I'm gonna show you before we go check it out uh, is, let's say you wanna check and see what tools are already installed. I can simply run that Windows, get Windows dash, or get dash Windows capability, if I can say that, dash online, dash name, rsat, asterisk, pipe that into a where, dash property, state dash EQ installed, and then pipe that into a select display name. And if we run that command, give it just a second to whir and grind and find the ones we've installed. And we should see the ones we just installed, DNS, plus the ones we installed through our settings console where we chose certificate services uh, and server manager, which is part of installing that Active Directory domain services. All right, so there we can verify that through PowerShell. We can also go over to our Start menu, right, and drill back down into those Windows administrative tools, and you'll see the ones that we installed earlier, the Active Directory uh, users and computers. And if we scroll down just a little bit further, right at the bottom down there, you'll see our new DNS console. So now you've seen two different ways you can install RSAT on Windows 10 2004. We can either use our settings or we can go through PowerShell. Hey, make sure you check out the playlist for more Windows 10 how-tos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.